Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Deadfire with me, Bring It On. Right. Let's see what the next challenge is. The next trial will draw from your own memories. There you go. It reveals a small obsidian knife, leather wrapped around its grip. Give the blade a taste of your blood and place it in the pool. A small sacrifice will do. The spirits will attend to the rest. She grants you the knife. Ceremonial obsidian knife. The edge of this once finely napped blade has grown ragged from persistent use. Flecks of dried blood stain the surface. Why is it always blood? If it was me, I'd be asking for ales. Real good ones, they have to import special. Adair pulls you aside by the shoulder. He looks hard into your eyes. Listen, I would not trust a blood sacrifice spirit that can't appreciate crisp deer wooden hops. <laughs> Cut yourself with the knife. Imari smiles as the blade bites into your flesh. And now it's a bloodied ceremonial obsidian knife. Now, add the bloodied blade to the pool. Memories of a madman. Okay, I assumed it was Merewald. The third battle in the Rite of Passage traditionally pits a challenger against an enemy drawn from their own recollections. In your case, the Crucible has decided you must face Merewald. Depending on how you dealt with the old master of Cadnua, Merewald's wrath may be stoked by mistreatment or softened by mercy. Well, I'm not sure how to prepare against this one, so I'm not going to make any changes to the party or equipment. Our challenger returns for the third trial of the Rite of Passage. This battle is drawn from the challenger's past. The slaying of Merewald the Mad, Sentinel of Cad Noir. The Watcher bound Merewald's soul to Cad Nua for all time. This spirit, long burning for vengeance, will now have its moment. Oh yeah, I forgot I did that. <laughs> Though our challenger has faced more dangerous foes, few have remained as terrifying in death. For Merewald's madness is an all but inevitable fate for our challenger as well. The old wizard was a portent of things to come. No witness as the Watcher contends with an unparalleled foe. His beginning and his end. Huh? Captain, explain to me again what you intend to prove by murdering an old man a second time? That I've still got it in me. Sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hopefully the soul mirrors aren't too tough. Ah, the rest of this fight looks like it's gonna be a doozy. Really have to run up there to do that? Alright, we'll just stay down here then.
Let's go. See some more summons out. And flood the arena with allies. Uh. <laughs> to safety. Lava, this does not work. Of course, he's been interrupted. <laughs> Adair, can you finish this guy off for me? Here he comes. Get some burn damage on him. Oh, didn't mean to move like that. Let's see how long my main character can last over there by himself. Let's go after these soul mirrors instead. That's not... Can't throw out some debuffs in this direction. Pleasure is mine. Not sure where that shade came from. But I wish it'd go back. Fire damage on the shades and nightmare shades, because they are weak to burn damage. See if we can keep him alive. Lava room beyond seek. That's not very. Let's go and focus down Marewald. 
I have a dare hold these guys back here, but everyone else is going to go after the Watcher. Let's get some more healing out. On your side. Moen. Good job, Adair. Now may I help? Not sure I'm getting booed. What now? <laughs> He's just out of range. Son of a cur! Alright, so that's Mayor Wall down. Uh, let's focus down the soul mirrors that are next to my main character next. Uh -uh, didn't work. I use Aloth to put Gouging Strike on these soul mirrors. Lavaru be on sink. Yes. Grand enemy on these guys as well. That hardly seems fair. What say? Watch me, mother. Yes. Love. That's not very helpful. Yeah. <laughs> How may I help? Rather hey, difficult to concentrate. Where you are. Spell speak. Oh, eight hole damage. Good job, Takehu. Oh, 
hope nobody saw that. Oh, and oh, rough. Oh. These distractions. Oh. Yeah. No good. to command. Watch me, mother! How may I help? Alright, gonna take care of the Jody Soul Mirror, and we have to whittle through my main character, Soul Mirror. <laughs> I hear you. Oh. I've gouging strike on him yet. Says. If we can even land it. At your sir. I. There we go. How may I help? That must have hurt. I keep throwing out single target damage. Lava room beyond the seek. I cannot whack him any hard. Let's go. What do you need? Lava room beyond the seek. Not very yeah. helpful. Good job, Alloth. Yeah. Mm. What a doozy. The weight of your past does not cage you. Not in the heat of battle, at least. One must approach every foe with a clear mind, unbound by what was. And what could have been? Regret grows heavier the longer one carries it. Harvest what you need from it, and discard the rest. I'm a little disappointed we didn't get any mm -hmm. dialogue from Airwald. Well, no one went down. We don't need to go rest up. We still have plenty of empower to go. The next step of this dance winnows our would be champions. The bloodletting. Bloodletting? That sounds ominous. The last of the trials. The bloodletting. Pits you against other contenders, each undergoing their own rite of passage. Oh no, that means we have to kill the Pilton? In their triumph, the Victorious shall complete the rite and secure their place within the Crucible. To them alone shall the island reveal the first of its mysteries. 
Killing others is the price of admission. It is an honor to progress into the Crucible. The winner gains glory. The fallen contribute their memories to this place. Either way, the competition is a form of immortality. Say nothing. It is an honor to progress into the Crucible. The winner gains glory. The fallen contribute their memories to this place. You just said that. Either way, the competition is a form of immortality. I'm not doing this. You may choose to turn away, but this place needs you. If you reject that calling, many may suffer in your stead. She frowns down at the shining water. The pool of memories awaits you. Greetings, challenger. The caretaker grins, revealing rows of razor-sharp teeth. You need only gaze into the pool of memories to learn what fate awaits you. She runs a hand across the edge of the bowl. I need to know more about the souls not being in harmony. The Crucible is alive with the souls of many warriors and their countless memories of battle. Through their song, the Faces rouses these souls to take form. They provide endless opponents. The souls do not speak to me in words. I am no watcher. But they do little to hide their tempers. I sense fear and anguish. I'm sorry. This must be what it's like to have a sick child, unable to explain what's wrong. Actually, I want to know more about you. Oh, there's little to say of my own past. I've lived here for decades. I arrived a nobody, but rose to champion. Smiling, she rubs her chin. For reasons unknown to me, this place chose me as caretaker. It has been a simple life in many ways, but an incredibly fulfilling one. Tell me about your time as champion. That must have been... 30 years ago, 40? Gods only know. My pack and I fought for the boar's glory. We raged like the warriors of old legends. How brave we were, how terrible. After we won, my pack wished to return home, but, but I knew in my heart I had been chosen. Not only by the surviving face, but by all of them. The faces of the hunt almost never speak to me, but they did on that day. They bestowed on me all I need to know to steward the Crucible. You have the option of leaving. Perhaps, but it's largely irrelevant. I have purpose and wholeness here at the Crucible. In my youth, I felt the Seeker's urge to see the world, but this island has cured me of my wanderlust. So you haven't left the island in years. <laughs> she chuckles, shaking her head. While I wouldn't mind being cursed to stay on the island, I still have to travel at times. The trials require it on occasion, as do my tasks as caretaker. Mawatu did not fly to you by magic. What exactly are your duties as caretaker? Counsel for those seeking answers, such as this conversation we're having. Otherwise, I oversee the Wardens and see to the repairs of the Crucible's physical components. Then there are the less glamorous tasks. Dealing with the steady stream of corpses, for example. Sounds like this place would fall apart without you. In truth, I am not necessary for the Crucible to function. Through the statue, Tawamoai has worked his will upon this place since before my time. He will do so long after I'm gone. Let's discuss something else. Caretaker nods with a toothy smile. I'm curious about this place. This is the heart of Tawamoai's sacred isle. This temple to battle was built millennia ago. Long have the faces of the hunt presided over these trials. Was there something specific you wanted to know? Who built this place and when? Countless generations have passed since Juana of many islands first came here. Before this place was built, the lands were arid, almost barren. But Tawamawai filled the isle with wildlife, monstrous and minute. When this much blood spills, 
the grass grows unbounded. Whether Tawamawai guided the creation of this place, or if building this place attracted Tawamawai's favor, I cannot say. But he is here. Who's in charge here? Well, Tawamawai, of course. He smirks at you with a puzzled look. A few fools have attempted to seize Kazuwari as their own, but it crawls with warriors eager to preserve the unruly chaos of this place. I met one of those guys on the way in. It did not end well for him. Would-be tyrants die quickly here. Tell me about the faces of the hunt. They are the three ways in which Tawamawai is known to us. As the slayer of all threats. As the survivor of all challenges. And as the seeker of all answers. The Stelgar, the boar, and the spider embody these three facets of our god. That ain't so different from Gon. Gotta have different names for different roles. The great statue overlooking the Crucible is also the faces of the hunt. Through it, Tawamawai provides for us innumerable foes. If the faces of the hunt are Tawamawai, why haven't they provided guidance? Well, the faces are a manifestation of Tawamawai, and not exactly the same thing, but... He coughs nervously. The faces do not exactly... converse. I have petitioned for guidance and have been met with silence. The faces will speak, but only when they wish to be heard. I want to know more about this competition. Hunters and warriors from around Aora come to seek conflict and revel in the dance of life and death. The Crucible welcomes any petitioner wishing to test their skills and the faces honor contenders that best embody their virtues of the hunt. What particularly held your interest? Did everyone here get a ghost for an invitation? No. Most are here because they worship Tawamawai, though many name him Galloway. Regardless, they hear the call. What form do these challenges take? You will learn in due course. What's the prize for winning? Every challenger that completes the Rite of Passage becomes a contender, eligible to compete for the patronage of one of the faces of the hunt. The three chosen packs face off to determine the champion of the hunt. This grand winner earns honor and objects of power blessed by Tawamawai. Beyond this, each victory in the Crucible earns you the Lord of the Hunt's favor, Favor which can take many forms. Never mind. I'm curious, now that we can rest here, I wonder if the shopkeeper's inventory has expanded? Oh, I didn't speak to this other guy about the belt, either. Whoops. Welcome back. <laughs> what might I do for you? The alchemist sets aside his device. I've begun the crucible. I'll wear your special belt. Fantastic! He hands you the belt. It's ready. Just wear it during the fight and return it once it's fully charged. Hopefully I didn't miss out. Unstable coil. Volatile. Deal shock damage and cause a stun for four seconds to everyone near the wearer on unconscious. Copper wiring and finely beveled cogs have been sewn... Uh, throughout this broad leather belt. The belt brings to mind in Gwyth and Machinery that whatever hands made this it either did so in recent history or someone has gone to great lengths to preserve the leather and keep the copper free of corrosion across the centuries. So do I have to wear that or can anyone wear it? it doesn't say watcher only. Hmm, does it bring out the color? Okay, 
Okay, so do I want... The bouncing attack, or do I want the chance to interrupt? Oh, the plus one power level is really good, too. Let's go with Water Shaper's Focus. I like the bouncing and the potential damage we get from it. Yeah, I like the 5% chance to cast Crush Damage, Water AoE on target scoring hit. Hopefully it only affects enemies, but I guess we'll find out. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. My eyes? Yeah. Sure. I shall be discreet. No challenges. See for yourself. Oh, whoops. Uh, I didn't mean to sell that. Hopefully it's still bound to Adair. <laughs> you give me any more gifts and people will start to think you're playing favorites. Yeah, okay, it's still complete. Fantastic. Okay, well, I guess while we're here... Also, what is this, uh... Hey, we're uh, of we course. Me, that... Yes, Captain. Alright, it is him. I should probably upgrade his armor as well. That seems very specific. Now, when it comes to AoE stuff, I'm thinking... Burn and... I don't know which of these we come across more often. I'm going to go with Shock, because of the Blights. I do the better ring as well. I will give okay. you need it. Will be so. Well, let's rest up real quick. And then we'll check out the Other next challenge next time. What can I enter? Of course. No reason not to rest up. It's free. And we did use some of our once per rest abilities in that last fight. Aloth, do you want to come over here, true. buddy? So how's this stuff coming along? Five more of those, and... Oh! I don't remember this upgrading. It, it probably did it in the, after a challenge, and since it sends us right back to... This location didn't have a chance to show us the upgrade. So, Omnipotence. After empowering an ability, nearby allies gain Brilliant for 4 seconds. Gives plus 5 Intellect, and their abilities and spells get plus 1 power level. And periodically regain class resources. That's fantastic. Okay. Well, I'm going to call it here. Next time we will take on the next challenge. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.